I'm talking with Brian McCullough from Woodhill Farms, Viroqua, Wisconsin. And Brian, you're having your 22nd annual Angus Bull Sale coming up on Saturday, April 14th. Tell us what time it's going to start and uh, how many bulls are going to be sold this year. Well, thanks, Bob. Yeah, we're selling uh, 120 bulls on the 14th. The sale starts at 1 o'clock. What's it mean to be on your 22nd annual sale? I'm sure when you got started, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, you know, looking back, or actually thinking back to 1984, which was when we moved to Viroqua, we started with 35 cows, so uh, it's been a focused, uh, persevering, diligent uh, process for us over the last 27, 8 years. Tell us, uh, how can you tie some of these bulls back to that original herd? Well, there were uh, 35 cows here when we came, and actually, of those 35, there's only one cow family that's still available. We uh, we were able to purchase some cows in the ensuing 10-year period following our arrival, and uh, that's where the majority of the foundation cows come from. Tell us, if you would, uh, the objectives are still the same, aren't they? Yes. You know, when we came here in 84, we decided that... Uh, the relevant traits to beef production, especially for the Angus breed, were calving ease, end product merit, which would be quality of the beef, and then maternal traits. So we've always stayed focused on those three traits, that being calving ease, end product merit, and quality females. And then we've simply added as much growth to the cattle as we could without compromising those three traits. What about the tools that are available? Yeah, I think that's a good point, Bob, as well, because uh, the tools we have today are so much better. And the reason the tools are better is because more and more breeders have, have submitted data which makes the tools, or EPDs in this case, more reliable. Used to be people looked at them with their eyes, they can tell, but uh, change has come, hasn't it? Yeah, indeed it has, and I mean, we still need to observe these cattle for traits that we don't have VPDs, such as disposition, utter quality, feet and leg soundness. But I will tell you, one thing that's been humbling and has made a believer out of me is the power in staying focused and using the objective breeding tools in addition to my eyes to make my breeding selections each year. Brian, the cattle numbers, uh, the fewest uh, in a number of years, uh, partly due to the drought in Texas and Oklahoma. What are you expecting for the sale Saturday? Well, I, I would be kidding you if I didn't tell you there was. there's always anxiety, um, but uh, we know that beef producers, especially cow-calf producers in the last year, have had a good year. And they also know that there's nothing, no better way to invest in the future than buying the right one. So with higher prices for feeder cattle that we've seen in the last year, I think there is some optimism on the part of producers, and I'd like to believe that we'll have good sales. You were telling me that a older gentleman you knew who has since passed on gave you some great advice for your first sale. Yeah, actually it was my uh, my wife's uh, grandfather who actually grew up raised in purebred Chester Whites. His comment to me was, they aren't going to get any easier. And, and I guess the wisdom in that statement was indeed true because even though it's been 20 some years since our first sale, there's still a fair amount of anxiety whether or not we'll have a crowd turning out sale day. Again, what time's it going to start? How many bulls are going to be sold? And where can they go to get more information? Yeah, the, the sale starts at 1 o'clock uh, and we'll have 120 plus or minus a couple. Uh, depending on uh, injuries, but uh, the best place for information actually is our website, woodhillfarms.com, or they can actually uh, phone 608-606-3238, which would be my cell phone. Brian McCullough from Woodhill Farms, located just south of Viroqua.